to represent your question and name. For Uganda's economy to move, we really need to invest where people are. Because if you don't invest where people are, you cannot move the economy. And almost 80% of our population, they are involved in agriculture. But we see government only allocating one trillion and just improving by only 100 billion uh, to agriculture sector. And again, the prioritization. How much of this is directly helping the, the peasant to really do production? I don't know, we can debate that, but we have told you areas where growth is being experienced. When we say agriculture, for example, is growing at 3.8%, boosted by cash crops and a bit of food crop, they're not the same. When we go deep inside, you see the results of how is agriculture growing. Well, agriculture has generally been growing at about 1.6% of GDP. But now we have seen that the interventions government has put in, uh, the extension services, the better uh, quality seeds that are being given, the pesticides that are being brought in, have had an impact. And that's why you see growth going up. Why can't operational wealth creation provide with farmers things that they are unable to get? For example, can they, for example, give them simple irrigation equipments to make sure that they are able to irrigate their crops, not to dry? Can they provide, for example, herbicides? The things that are different, I've told you that we have just uh, uh, launched this uh, agro-processing. That's why I, I was telling you, the agro-processing, fostering a sustainable agro-processing agenda in Uganda. We have identified the crops that we can um, promote.